Hello and welcome to Firewall Management 201. I am Professor Wool. Today we're going to be talking about something slightly different, not exactly classical firewall management issues, but an issue of um, prioritizing risk from a business perspective. So a recent survey that we ran, uh, almost half of the respondents said that they preferred to see vulnerability information presented from the perspective of business applications. What do they mean by saying that, and why is that important? Well, to understand that statement, let's take a look at how vulnerability scanners work and what sort of information they provide. So you may have a, a vulnerability scanner in use in your organization. If you do, you'll see that it provides a report that roughly looks like this for each server that the vulnerability scanner scanned. You get the list of all the vulnerabilities that that server is subject to. And for each vulnerability, you get a security rating, such as a CVSS score, indicating how severe that vulnerability really is. And you can drill down from there and discover all the technical information, so uh, how that um, vulnerability can be exploited and what uh, damage could be caused through that exploit to the server that's vulnerable. And typically, you'd also get information about how to remediate, how to eliminate the particular vulnerability that you're looking at. Most, most often, a vulnerability is remediated by upgrading the server or some component of it to a later patched software version that's no longer vulnerable. And so the vulnerability scanner provides a, a long report organized by the identities of the servers that it scanned. Now, what are you going to do with this information? Well, what does it mean? I, I think that it really means risk. And there are actually two types of risk that you need to think about. The first type of risk is the security risk. This is really the risk of compromise. What could happen if one of these vulnerabilities is exploited? What sort of damage could be caused? What information would be lost, etc.? Assessing this type of risk is usually the domain of the information security team who look at these risks and can prioritize them. However, that's not the only risk that has to be taken into account. Remember, to correct one of these vulnerabilities typically means to patch the system or to upgrade the, the server. And that means certainly some planned downtime. You have to turn off the server to upgrade it. But potentially, there is a risk of unplanned downtime these types of patches and upgrades are not uh, always very simple operations, and sometimes issues occur, and the downtime could be prolonged until everything is brought back to normal. So there is also an unplanned downtime aspect, and handling these types of risk and assessing them is really the domain of the IT staff um, who can plan the downtime and uh, assess its risk. What the respondents to our survey really said is that there is a piece missing in this discussion, and that is the application. If you think about it, what really is at risk is not the server. It's the application that relies on the server that's at risk. And if you know that a particular application relies on some servers and some other application relies on some other servers, then all the discovered vulnerabilities on the servers that were affected are really vulnerabilities that impact the applications. And if you look at it from that perspective and you get the information from the level of the vulnerability and server to the level of the vulnerable application, you can involve another type of team into the decision-making process, and that is the business application owners who can provide some balance between the risk of com compromise against the risk of planned and unplanned downtime, and put all of that information in the perspective of the importance and the business criticality of the application that is at risk here. Once we get the business application owners into the decision-making process, now we can make a much more informed and uh, uh, accurate decision about the true priority of taking remediation actions um, 
which applications are more uh, are we need to deal with more urgently and which should be delayed because the operational risk is too high and maybe it's not a good time to patch them right now. So if we could have a system where the information from the vulnerability scanners is presented from the perspective of the applications, then we could bring in all the key stakeholders into the decision-making process and improve the quality of decisions we make uh, to remediate the risks associated with these applications. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you in the next class.